right? Koholo Yahawa, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to you, brothers, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. All right, so I'm just doing a video. I had some scriptures. You know. As a matter of fact, uh, yeah, I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures. Um, really, let's just go with the spirit, you know. Um, what was on my mind is the day of the Lord, the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that day is approaching, all right? It's nigh at hand, like the scriptures say. I read uh, this first scripture in Isaiah 13 and 6. It says, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. All right, when you look into the word how, the word in the Hebrew is yalal. And that means, when you, it means well, wailing. There's going to be a great day of wailing. Even in the book of Revelation, um, the first chapter, where it talks about uh, Yahweh Shai, shall, uh, he come, behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And the ones and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of them. All right, because that day, the day of the Lord is that's a great day. Okay, as a matter of fact, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. All right, and how is that day going to come? It's going to come as a destruction from on high. The Almighty, and what is his name? His name is Yahweh. Okay, and he is all right, and he is the one that has had his servants, the prophets. Okay, see the visions, all right, and write those visions down. And in, e in these times, okay, men are interpreting, okay, those visions, all right, and, br and, 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 and bringing it out and warning the people, okay, prophesying to the nations and warning the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the pending destruction, all right, that's about to take place on this earth, all right. So it says, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. So in that day, okay, there's going to be uh, people that's going to be afraid. Okay, it says uh, uh, all hands shall be faint. All right. And what, let's, let's see something real quick. Let's go into the uh, Hebrew. All right. Therefore all hands shall be faint. And that word is papa. Okay. That word right there is papa. It says to sink. Uh Relax, sink down, let drop, be disheartened. It be disheartened, okay? It be disheartened, right? They're not going to have any answers for what's about to come because what's about to come is from on high. It's from the Heavenly Father, all right? The power of Israel, the God of Israel, okay? As a matter of fact, um... I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to read down to verse 9. It says, Therefore, all hands be, all hands, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Yeah, because in that day there's going to be great fear. All right, people are going to be afraid. Okay. It says, Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as women that travaileth. All right. It says, They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. So the Lord is coming, and it's going to be a cruel thing that he's about to bring. All right, This is not going to be a light judgment. This is going to be a heavy, strong wrath that's coming. Okay, This is, go this is how the Heavenly Father is going to uh, glorify his name and make known that he is. All right, By the power and the judgment that he brings. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh. Cruel, both of wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. What land? Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay, this land is going to be laid desolate. All right, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay, so who are the sinners? All right, who can sin? All right, the ones that have been given the law, statutes, and commandments. The Israelites, but since you, you Edomites, since you shown yourself to be imposters. All right. And you claim to be the people of the Lord, the Jews, all right? The Lord is going to destroy you, all right? Just as he's going to destroy the land, he's going to lay the land desolate, all right? He's coming to destroy this land, all right? Now, let's go to, and, 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 and that's a threat. That's a threat to these uh, devils, all right? Let's go from there. Let's go to Luke, uh, the 21st chapter, all right? All right, so we're in Luke, the 21st chapter. 
And let's start at uh Uh, right here 25 it says and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring right and my man uh putin vladimir putin said look if these western nations cross the red line <laughs> they're not going to want it well there's going to be some trouble basically all right so he made a, a statement right on the national stage right and that's going to bring upon the earth the stress of nations these wars all right these uh economic turmoils oh just distress of nations with this uh, uh c19 all right with perplexity all right confusion as we look up the word perplexity all right i say confusion but uh let's look at it look at it. look it up let's get into it perplexity Aporia, right? Uh, uh, aporia, that's what it looks like. It says, uh, um, let's go here real quick. Strong's G640, Aparia. No, Aparia. Aparia. Okay, it's Aparia. All right, it said Aporia. Okay, but it's Aparia. It says, the state of one who is perplexed. All right, so we got to get into that word perplexed. Do a web search real quick. The word perplex, perplexity, inability to deal with or understand something complicated or unaccountable. Did not the Lord say in uh, uh, the book of Corinthians? I said the Lord, um, the Apostle Paul in the book of Corinthians said he destroyed the wisdom of the wise. Let's just get it, bring to nothing. Yeah, the Most High is going to make foolishness the understanding of uh, of the uh, uh, rulers of this world, okay? The prudent men in this world. He's going to make foolish of them because he's coming to destroy the land. What are they going to do? This is uh, 1 Corinthians 1 and 19. It says, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Okay? All right, so there, there goes your, your perplexity, all right? All the things that's about to come on the earth. All right. That's how the Most High is going to destroy the wisdom of the wise. Because they're not going to have any answers for what's coming upon the earth. All right. And bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Okay. Prudent. All right. The intelligent. It says intelligent. Having understanding. Wise. Learn. Okay, so your Dr. Fauci's, okay, your uh, uh, your top um, uh, uh your top people in 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 um, you, this uh President uh Joe Biden's uh cabinet, okay, your top appointees, all right, they're not gonna have any answers for you, okay. Go back to uh Luke twenty one real quick. Back in Luke twenty one and twenty five, it says. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. Okay, you know, you, uh, you can have um, um, eclipses. And in the stars, you got shooting stars, all types of things. And upon earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear. Yeah, because it says uh, they're going to be as a woman in travail. Okay, men's hearts fa failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, what the race wars, all right, the famines, all right, the 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 uh, it's scriptures say a time of trouble such as never since there was a nation. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. He says, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for the looking after those things which are coming on the earth. So the men of the Lord, which do the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, because it was the Lord that put the spirit on us to fear him. All right, we're not going to have to uh, 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 fulfill uh, these prophecies that our Lord um, spoke of on us, men's hearts failing them for fear. All right, because we're looking for this thing. This is the glory and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, to have his word manifest right before our faces. The, 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 the words that we're speaking, okay, uh, are jumping off the pages. 
All right? And that's the power of prophecy. That's the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. It says, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud. What is that cloud? That's talking about a chariot. That's why you have the uh, Pentagon releasing the documents, okay, of those which they, they deem or which they call, which they have coined the term UFOs, okay, or uh, uh, unidentified flying objects, right? That's what our Lord is going to come back in a chariot. And the scriptures uh, refer to him as a cloud. See, verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And what power is he coming with? He's coming with the power to destroy. All right? He's coming with, 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 the, he's coming with destruction. All right? Isaiah 63. Okay? Isaiah 66 and 15. Okay? And great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth not. So the more hell that we see on the earth, all right, it's time to look up because our redemption, okay, is drawing nigh. These things must come to pass. All right. Uh, let's see what scripture uh, was I thinking about. Do I want to go to? Let's see. Um. Let's go to um oh um Joel. I want to go to the book of Joel. Let's go to the book of Joel real quick. Is it Joel too? Because the book of Joel um it refers to the day of the Lord, and it said one thing in 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 particular that I wanted to bring out. Okay, because this day that we coming into, right? Ah, uh, let's see. Let's start at one. This is Joel 2 and 1. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And that's what's happening. You have men bringing out the videos, bringing out the prophecies, you know, uh, warning Israel. All right, blowing the trumpet in Zion. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. All right. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. All right, so we're blowing the trumpet. All right, the scriptures say, cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. All right, wisdom cryeth in the streets. All right, she utter for her, her voice in the chief place of concourse. All right, we're blowing the trumpet, man. You can't deny it. All right, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, we heard this word from them. All right, we heard that destruction is coming. All right, and, 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 and the fear of the Lord, all right, compelled us to come out there to push the word. And that's just what it is. So we blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. All right. Let uh, those in, in the Lord's holy mountain, because mountains refer to governments. All right. All right. And, and there's a holy mountain. All right. Which there's a, that's the order of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And it starts in the heavens. It says, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. So when we out there on the highways and byways, the people should be trembling, man. But since they're not trembling, there's a judgment that's about to come for it. It says, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And what is that day of the Lord? Pursuant to Isaiah the 13th chapter. That's a day. That's a cruel day, all right? The Lord is coming cruel, both of wrath and fierce anger, all right? The day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, all right? So not only is that day cruel, but that's a day of darkness and gloominess, all right? We was talking about how when Yahweh Shah come back in that chariot, he's going to block the sun, all right? So those chariots are going to block the sun out, all right? So that day is going to be a dark day. And a day of gloominess, a day of clouds, and of thick darkness, right? As the, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There ha this is the point that I wanted to be, bring out. It says, there have not been ever the like. So what we're coming into, there has not ever been the like. Okay, neither shall be any more after. 
even to the years of many generations. So after this day that we're, we're approaching comes, all right, there's never going to be another day like it. Okay, and even the years of many generations after, this is going to be talked about. Oh, remember when the Lord came back and he destroyed this place? Remember when he visit, visited the earth? All right. Oh, remember when the Lord visited the earth during the time of uh, Moses? All right. When the Lord told them to uh, sanctify themselves before the Lord would come because they said, we don't want to speak to you. We want to speak to the Lord. All right. Well, this is going to be even a greater day. When that day, when the Lord revealed himself, they was they was afraid. All right. So this day, man. OK. All right. It says a fire devour devour before them. And it's talking about the missiles and behind them a flame burneth. And that's what's coming to destroy the land, those nuclear missiles. So my man, uh, Vladimir Putin. All right. He gave you he gave the Western powers. All right. Which is the powers that's led. And well, you all set up. OK. By the elite international bankers. OK. But he gave the Western powers a, a red line. So we're in the time of war. The Most High, remember Ezekiel 38. The uh, uh, the Most High said, I will turn thee back and put hooks in thy jaws. All right. And then when, when you go to Proverbs, it says uh, the, the the heart, okay, of the king is in the hand of the Heavenly Father, man. All right. So he turn it whithersoever he, he pleaseth. All right. So this day is coming, man. All right. The day those nuclear missiles go off. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. So you, if before those missiles come, you have an inhabited, inhabited, inhabited land, okay? And then after those missiles go off, it says, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. So nothing's going to escape those nuclear missiles, man. All right, nothing's going to escape those nuclear missiles, and that's how the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to get his his glory, man. All right, by revealing his son and putting his son in a position of power, all right, to dictate the course of the earth. Let me see if I could see that. What is this? Uh, yeah, who cool. this is the spirit. This is uh, Psalm 9 and 5. It says, Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. And that's what the Most High is going to do to these Edomites, man. Right, he's going to put the heathen in their place. And he's going to destroy the wicked. All right? He's going to destroy the wicked. All right? Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, dest destructions are come to a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. All right, and that's what the Lord is coming. Oh, yeah, that's heavy, man. Yeah, that's heavy. Because I didn't even know I was going to bring this scripture out. That's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim I was shot. It says, it says, thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. And the Most High is going to put their name out forever and ever. All right, because and the Lord is going to show that he was with Israel. All right, which is going to bring me to another precept real quick. It says, O thou enemy, enemy, okay, and you Edomites, you're, you're our main enemy, man. All right, O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. All right, and that day of the Lord, that's a great day of judgment, okay? So not only is the Lord coming back to uh, take these kingdoms down, but the Lord is coming for to bring judgment. He's coming to show that he's the ultimate judge, all right? And he's going to take out the wicked's memorial. So you Edomites, man, you're not going to have no, no memorial, okay? And I'm going to keep on reading. It says, verse 8, it says, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble. Okay. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. 
right? So our Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, he's a great power, man, all right? And these things that were written, all right, are going to come to pass. And I might as well just keep on reading real quick. So the, not only is the Lord going to be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble, okay? It says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, the men of the Lord that believe upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? And they have his uh, Holy Spirit, all right? Which is the... The Holy Spirit, if you have that spirit in you, that's a quickening spirit, okay? And our Heavenly Father, that same power that raised up his son, Yahweh Shai, from him when he went on, when he uh, 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 paid that price, when he was, uh, uh, went, on the went on the cross, okay? That same spirit, okay, that's in his men is going to deliver those men that, that are put to death for the namesake, for the, for the sake of the word, all right? It says, and this is another thing that we have to bank on. It says, the Lord also will be our be a refuge for the oppressed, okay? And a refuge in time of trouble, all right? So we're, we're looking for our Lord. We're not looking for uh, Esau, Edom, and his remedies because the Most High is going to destroy him, man. It says, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. All right, so the Lord is not going to forsake the men that seek the, that seek him. Okay? King David would know, man. All right? A psalm of David. This is a song, song, a, a psalm of David. Okay? This is a psalm of David. Um, Let me read one more verse, and I'm going I'm to wrap it up. It says... And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord which dwelleth in Zion. Yeah, see, the Lord dwelleth in Zion. Okay, which the word Zion in Hebrew means uh, to Zion, which that's the real memorial. Okay, that's the real memorial right there. The Lord is going to destroy the memorial of the wicked when we read up in the above chapters. All right, their memorial is going to perish from the earth. He's going to destroy their cities. There ain't going to be no remembrance of Esau, Edom being in power, man. All right. And the Lord dwelleth in Zion. He's going to show that he dwelleth in Zion. Right? It says, declare among the people his doings. All right, and that's what we're doing. Before they happen, declare among the people his doings. All right. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. All right. And who's 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 crying? The men that sign cry for the abominations there that, that be done in the midst thereof. All right. He's going to make inquisition for the blood. All right. Hey, you is a hey, hey, when he maketh inquisition for blood. Yeah. Y'all got uh, uh, all roused up because uh, this this guy uh, Chauvin. OK, got prosecuted he was a a, a a a sacrifice he was a sacrifice to esau man esau sacrificed his own people man all right but the lord our lord is going to make inquisition for blood what does the word inquisition look into the word inquisition okay and this is what i wanted to go into uh uh i think deuteronomy 33 to the end where it says uh our enemies shall be found liars but um you know, I'll I'll end it with this. Um, yeah, this is Darash. Darash. Um, for the word Inquisition. Um, let's see. So that word uh, means to resort to, seek, seek with care, inquire. Right? It says to seek, demand, require, to investigate, inquire, to ask for, require, to practice, study, follow, seek with application. And basically, the most high is, is, is inquiring, okay? Uh, yeah. 
Let's see what else it says. It says, uh, make inquisition diligently inquire. So you either might say in trouble, man. If there's a power, <laughs> well, there is a power. I said, if there's a power, <laughs> if there, there is a power that's going to search out your bullshit. And when he searches it out, he's gonna he's gonna execute judgment, and it's gonna be a righteous judgment, All right? I'm gonna read thirteen. It says, "Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I suffer, of them that hate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of hell, All right? And some of you brothers are gonna be tried." To the point of death, but the Lord is going to lift you up, right? He's going to lift you up. See, the Most High is the the one that uh, killeth and he maketh alive. So, yeah, there's the scripture right here, verse sixteen. Yeah, the Lord is the one that killeth and maketh alive. Okay, and unto him belongeth the issues of death. So, if unto him belongeth the issues of death, the Most High can bring you to the brink of death. Okay. And, and and raise you up, all right? So, I mean, that's going to be a show. That's going to show that the Lord is a refuge in time of trouble, refuge for the oppressed, right? By the works that the Lord brought, that, that the Lord brings forth in his vessels, all right? Remember, we're vessels, right? It's like the scriptures say, uh, vessels of honor, uh, then you have a vessel uh, of dishonor. Right, we're vessels of the Lord to do what He pleaseth with us. All right, that's why we, it's important to remain humble. All right, but let me keep on reading because I wanted to read verse sixteen. I'm gonna keep on reading down to verse sixteen and I'll end it. Um, it says, uh, verse fourteen. It says that I may show forth all Thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down into the pit that they made. And the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Yeah, so they're going to be trapped up. All right. Um, it says, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hegion Salah. All right. So the Lord is known by the judgment. Which he executed. And that judgment that he's going to execute is those nuclear missiles. So that's how the Lord's going to get his name. Right? Well, the Lord already has his name. But the Lord, when he makes inquisition, he's going to show forth that he is that power. All right? We're declaring his name, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, before they actually execute the judgment. All right? Bring forth the day of the Lord. There's more scriptures on it. Um, it says, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Yeah. So you Edomites, well, your works, you're, you're, you're going to be trapped up in them, right? And you're going to be found guilty. And the Lord is going to not show you no mercy. Your memorial is going to perish from the earth. And ultimately, after a thousand years of you serving slavery, are right, y'all going to be completely exterminated, the Edomites, pursuant to the book of Obadiah. All right? And it's not hate speech. It's just it's prophecy. To say before, all right, the Lord put the spirit on Obadiah to write the smallest book. But it entails your judgment. Right? But with that, call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation to you, brothers, that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.